Hi guys, welcome to the Nut Cocktail Club. My name is Rhys. Uh, I'm going to be doing the cocktail kit tutorial for the Jungle Juice Cocktail Kit, which we've been asked to make by the guys at Disney for the Jungle Cruise film that's coming up, uh, which I'm sure you've got something to do with if you're watching this tutorial. Uh, you would have received one of these boxes. This is our cocktail kit. So in here, you've got the recipe card, which basically just goes through all the stuff that I'm going to be talking to you about now, but obviously, tells you a little bit more in depth about what you've got. So what we've got in the kit, let's go through that first. We have got the glass bottle, which is uh, gonna double as our shaker for this one. So all the other kits we've done so far have been uh, built cocktails, but we decided to kind of mix it up a little bit and do a shaking cocktail. So we're gonna be doing everything into this bottle, okay? So everything in this kit is pretty much already measured out for you. So you don't need to worry about having a measure. It's all pre-measured. So then up next, we've got the lime juice which is going to be our citrus in this cocktail. We've got a glass of cherries, which is for the garnish. We have got the peach and almond blend. So that's got the peach and almond syrup in it, which will go nicely. So this is our spirit that we're going to be using, which is Havana uh, spice, Cuban spice, which I've got a bottle of it here. It's a lovely spice rum. So it's got a hint of coconut and pineapple. It's got a lovely flavor. It really matches well with the, uh, the kind of Caribbean punch theme to this one. So, and then we've got it's just here, which is our pineapple juice, okay? So, little extra we got. We've got bamboo straws, which are branded and labeled there. And then we've got our garnish bag just here, okay? So this includes the lime wheel, the skewer, the grenadine spray, and the tiki bitters. So the tiki bitters are actually an ingredient, so you're gonna wanna pop those ones out straight away, okay? So you're gonna need that in a second. That's the little tiki bottle there. Adorable little bottle. There we go. Right, so. We're doing a crack straight on with making it then. So I'm going to show you how to make it. So what we're going to do first is you're going to want to grab your bottle, okay? The only thing you're going to need to provide is ice. It's very hard to ship ice in the post, so <laughs> sadly you will have to have a couple of ice cubes, but it's, it's, you don't need much of this at all. So that's fine. So what we're going to want to do, grab the glass bottle, and then we're just going to start pouring in our ingredients, okay? So I'm just going to grab my bottle opener to open up that bottle of pineapple juice, just there. Okay, and like I said, everything is pre-measured in this, so you don't have to measure anything. We've done that all for you, so it's just a case of decanting it into the bottle. So this is our 60ml of spice rum, so double shot of spice rum, add that in as well. Then we're going to want to add our peach and almond blend. You can do these in any order, it's not particularly important. They just need to go in, okay, lovely. Up next we've got the lime juice. I'll add that one as well. Like I said, you can do these in any order. It doesn't You don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing. And then we've got the little tiki bottle, which I've hidden. There we go. So you just want a couple dashes of these. So bitters are ridiculously strong flavor. So you just want a couple little dashes out of the bottle, okay? Lovely. So there's obviously quite a lot more in there than you need. So you literally only need a couple dashes out of that bottle, okay? So what you want to do next is just add a couple ice cubes. So I'm just gonna chuck a few in the top of here. Just, so this is just a chill, and then obviously you shake and aerate the cocktail. The beautiful thing about this is obviously you can reuse any of this stuff here. So any of these little glass bottles, perfectly reusable. You can seal them again. Uh, this obviously resealable as well. What you're going to do, grab that one and give it a nice little shake. You want to be careful with this because pineapple juice uh, aerates very, very easily, and it aerates a lot. So you're not going to want to shake it too much, if you shake it too much it will be pure foam <laughs> and you don't want that. So you're just going to want it to be nice and chilled, okay? So just do that very lightly for 30 seconds. Obviously it would be normally be less, but where we can't properly shake it and not with a lot of ice, uh, it will be a little bit longer. But you're going to want it to be nice and chilled. Most of that ice that you put in there is going to be gone by the time you've uh, finished shaking it, okay? So I'm just kind of rolling it just to kind of get a little bit of aeration in there and chill it down, mix it properly without having to shake it too much because obviously it's pineapple juice and it will foam far too much and we don't want that. Lovely. Cool. Alright, so you should be able to fill the side of the glass bottle that's quite chilled now. So once it's, as soon as you start feeling that little chill, you're going to want to add, take off the lid, add a little bit more ice just to kind of keep it chilled as you drink it. Lovely. And then we're going to want to go to our little garnish bag, okay? So we've got our little garnish bag here. And in there, you're going to find a little spray bottle. This little spray bottle has grenadine in it, uh, which is 
pretty common in a kind of Caribbean punch style cocktail. So you're going to just want to spray that into the top of your cocktail and that's going to start just bleeding through the cocktail. You can't really see it from that side, but yeah, it, you can see it just slowly dripping through the cocktail. Give it a few sprays of that. If you want it a little bit sweeter, feel free to add more of that as and when you please, but it's not a big deal. But yeah, that is pretty much the only thing you need to do to actually make this cocktail. So it's a nice, easy shaking cocktail. It's a lovely Caribbean punch. We've done quite a few of this style thing. We've done a lot during the summer. Obviously, yeah, very refreshing, very nice, and it fits very well with your theme. So you're just going to want to grab your cocktail cherries as well. If I can get them out of the jar, it would be handy. My uh, fingers are too big. There we go. Lovely. And pop them on the skewer. Okay, pop the skewer over the top of your glass. Hi guys, sorry about that. I had a bit of a technical issue with the uh, the old lime wheel, uh, so I just had to go and get a new peg. So I put a new peg on there, and that's just sat on the end of our cherries uh, on the end of the skewer, and I popped our bamboo straw just in the front there. And yeah, that is the end of our cocktail kit tutorial. So that is the jungle juice. It's a lovely tropical cocktail, ready for the summer period. And thank you very much for joining us. It's been a pleasure and I uh, hope you enjoy.